On the Cougars' second offensive possession of the day, Blackwell, the 186-pound junior, romped for 23 yards to Maryland's 34. The Terps were ranked sixth in the nation against the run. Three plays later, sophomore quarterback Danny Davis, who had a fine outing in his hometown, faked to Blackwell and pitched to Thomas for an easy 11-yard touchdown, 7-0 lead. Houston cornerback Mark Moore, who was voted the game's top defensive award, provided a big play moments later by blocking Mike Sachko's punt. During the season, Moore blocked two against Rice. The 33-yard touchdown was scored by Blackwell, who described the run for Channel 5's George Reba. Uh, I, it was a counter play, and, uh, I, and I think they was on a stunt, and they slanted down to the inside, and Kevin and Mike uh, took them on to the inside, and I, I tried to pull them as much as I could to the inside, and then I broke outside and, uh, and happened to break it. Still in the first quarter with some three minutes to go, a Maryland fumble was recovered by Moore at the visitors' 25 as the Cougars' good fortune continued. Quarterback Davis then executed another well-designed option around left end on the second play, broke for 18 yards down to the nine. Blackwell got his second touchdown through a huge opening from one yard out. It was 21 to nothing against a Maryland team that had allowed only 22 points all year the first quarter. Early in the second, quarterback Mark Mangus guided his team 49 yards to pay dirt. Mangus hit his favorite receiver, Vince Kinney, to the 19. For the game, he completed 17 of 32 for 179 yards. Mangus lit up the Maryland scoring column with a nifty five-yard run by cutting inside to conclude the nine-play drive. Just before halftime, the Cougars went to the air for their fourth touchdown. What was Don Bass took a Davis pass for a 37-yard score, and he told George about it. Well, I was hollering for the ball all day, you know, when I... The coach finally called one pass, but I, I thought that was about to be the only one I was going to get the whole day, so I ran it with precise caution, you know, so it was a post pattern, and I ran it, and, you know, Danny put the ball right in there, and I got lucky, got a touchdown. Maryland's opening possession of the third quarter went 86 yards without a point. One of the big plays was a fourth and seven pass from the 25 to Kenny for 20 yards down to the five. Then on fourth and goal from the four, Mangus flipped to Chuck White, who lost the ball out of bounds a foot shy of the goal line. Maryland then recovered a fumble on Houston's next possession at the Cougars' 35. Mangus fired 18 yards to freshman Eric Severs on fourth down. Again, it was Mangus to Severs clicking for the touchdown on the next play from 10 yards out as Severs once more found himself open inside. More anxious moments followed for Houston and their fans early in the fourth as Blackwell fumbled at his 29 after a jarring tackle by linebacker Brad Carr. A 14-yard Mangus pass was caught on the Terps' first play as fullback Tim Wilson pulled in the reception in a crowd at the 15. Six plays later, it was Wilson going up the middle from the one for the touchdown that brought Maryland within 27 to 21. Houston then put the game away with a time-consuming 14-play drive that featured a dazzling play by Davis. The tough 175-pounder was trapped inside the five but managed to loop a 14-yard pass to Robert Laverne on third down and six. After the game, Coach Bill Yeoman had special words of praise for his running game. I think that those uh, their people weren't quite... Uh, geared in to uh, some of the slants and angles and the patterns that we use, but uh, I think that really our offensive line took off real well, and I think our runners ran exceptionally well, and I think Danny handled the offense super. Blackwell had just a super game. Yeah, Black. Now, now Aloys, if he'll work real hard, is going to get to be a pretty doggone good back. He really is.